Hi, I'm Matt Beatty, the instructor for Geography 858, um, Spatial Data Science for Emergency Management. Um, thanks for taking the time to have a look at this course, this, uh, this syllabus, and um, I want to just tell you a little bit about the course and um, hopefully address any qu some questions that you may have uh, in looking over the, the material below. Um, the earlier version of this course focused primarily on geographic, informa geographic information systems and uh, the ways that uh, GIS can be um, implemented in, in an emergency management context. Um, so the focus is really more on design and, and, um, and uh, particular systems for, for GIS and emergency management. The course has been uh, redeveloped now, so it's quite different in its focus. Um, so now the emphasis is on spatial data science and the uh, technologies that are emerging to change practice in emergency management um, to incorporate a whole range of, of sort of new techniques and data, data sets. So it's really focusing on how the, the area is being transformed. So if you have an interest in emergency management, I think this will be uh, of, of interest. But if you just have a, or if you have a more general interest in um, emerging geospatial technologies and, and data and, and analytical approaches, you, you probably will find this an interesting uh, course uh, and application as well. So some of the emerging techniques that we'll uh, encounter are very familiar. So things like unmanned aerial vehicles, um, volunteer geographic information, crowdsourcing, th those sorts of things. Others will be a little less familiar, uh, including um, topics like uh, geospatial artificial intelligence, uh, near real-time or real-time uh, spatial data analysis, um, as well as just some other novel approaches for dealing with issues sort of around um, logistics, humanitarian logistics, and, and uh, the roles that um, agencies play with communities and th those sorts of things. So, so there's a hard sort of technical, um, you know, technological uh, advances, but then there's also different perspectives about how uh, we need to approach um, emergency management situations. So, what will we do in this class? Um, well, the, the activities are quite varied. Um, so, there'll be uh, quite a bit of a discussion amongst ourselves, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, hands-on exercises, um, group collaboration work, and the development of a, of a term project. So let me just start by talking a little bit about um, the collaboration component of this, of this, uh, of this assignment. Now sometimes people um, hear that hear collaboration or group work and kind of roll their eyes. But this, the set of topics that we'll be considering here really require people to get together and talk through complex problems and bring their understanding of the world sort of together. So um, we will accomplish this in a couple ways. So each, um, each week there'll be um, content, uh, so a reading, uh, watching a video, looking at various example websites that will present a topic. So it might be something like you know, geographic artificial intelligence. Then you'll take, you'll take what you've learned from those readings and you'll bring them into a discussion forum where there's a set of uh, sort of standard deadlines you'll need to meet in terms of what you uh, what you cover with your classmates in that forum. So the idea isn't that it's like super heavy or anything, but the idea is that you 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 bring insights to it from what you, your understanding of the reading, and and then it should grow sort of organically. That might not sound very exciting to begin with, but I think if um, if you know what we found in the past with these courses is that students quite like that a lot because it it let them sort of. Uh, uh, talk about their understanding of the material, but then also to um, uh, provide their insights and sort of be creative as well in terms of how they interact and the points they bring. Um, so the interaction is, is very important uh, in this class. It also comes in in a couple of your hands-on assignments where you'll work in, in groups, small groups, to, uh, I think in one instance you are developing uh, scenarios looking at a, a particular disaster and at how different uh, phases of that disaster were sort of addressed or, or could have been addressed better with, uh, um, with uh, spatial uh, data science. 
Another example is you'll develop um, sort of a more critical view of sort of what happened in a particular disaster and, um, and do a bit of a critique of that. So, um, so you'll be doing a bit of analysis and writing and then the idea is that you'll summarize that at the end of it using an Esri story map. So you'll um, be using a very sort of media rich environment to, um, to tell the story that you have to tell. And this is increasingly um, a, a skill that's, um, that's highly sought, I think, in terms of being able to communicate the data in these sort of non-traditional ways um, to, to different stakeholders. Anyway, so it should be kind of fun. Um, the next bit to mention, I guess, is around the hands-on assignments. So um, you'll work with a particular data set. So for example, in the um, second lesson, there's a, a lab on uh, using unmanned aerial vehicle data to um, look at a, a few different scenes that might represent uh, a landscape that uh, first responders or others would be going into to try to uh, address a problem. And you'd be the analyst developing the spatial products to provide advice about where to go, where not to go, uh, those sorts of things. Um, so that will in that you'll consider both 2D and 3D uh, drone imagery, and, and the idea is to really give you a flavor for like what's you know what's sort of happening in this in this space, and uh, how we can you know really narrow that critical time period between the disaster and the production of spatial products, um, you know reduce that as much as possible so that the response can be more effective. Um, the final. Uh, assessment I guess I'd like to just mention is the term project and this one's really key and, and, and quite important because it's your opportunity to really tailor the class for you. Um, you can pick a wide range of topics I'm pretty pretty easy. Um, early on in the piece you'll be basically doing a pitch of your idea and what you would like to do and I'll provide you feedback on that. Um, the vehicle for that is an, is an abstract followed soon by a um, uh, outline that um, where you sort of flesh out the details. So you'll get lots of feedback early on uh, to make sure it's, you're on track and, and that you're doing something that's, that's, that's possible in the time you have available. And then, um, then you develop a first draft and then a final draft. And in those, through, that, through that process, I'm with you and I'm providing sort of feedback along the way. So you could do topics that relate more to like um, uh, you know, more conceptual and sort of design issues, or you could do something that's pretty hardcore, you know, data-driven. So it's really just kind of depends on your interests and the like. Uh, at the end of this process, we do a five, you'll, you'll create a five to seven minute short video that explains what you, what your topic was and what, what your findings are. And that will be available for the rest of the, rest of the students to look at. Also, it's something that you could sort of take with you. So I should have mentioned that um, with the term projects in the past, a lot of the students have been able to take their work and actually show it to their employer. In, in some cases, a, you know, as a proposal for what they think should be that their organization should be doing. In other cases, it's formed a very solid draft of, of what would be a journal paper. So, um, so I think at the very least, you can come out of this with a bit of a portfolio. So, from your Esri story maps to your to your term paper, you know, with a very um, uh, you know, strong applied and uh, very strong emphasis on technology and data and the like, and that coupled with your communication products like the like the uh, uh, the video that you'll that you'll do. So, anyway, um, that's really I guess what I wanted to cover. Probably covered more than I than I meant to say. But um, uh, if you have any any uh, questions about this course um, and would like to know more, or uh, you know like to understand if it fits with what your your goals are, uh, what you want out of uh, out of, uh, of, an, of more detailed understanding of spatial data science as applied to emergency management, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me or with one of the people in the program office. They can, they can help hook us up as well. Um, the only hitch on my end is that I'm, I'm based in Australia, so I live in Melbourne, Australia. So there can be a bit of a delay in, in, um, in communication. But um, in the past, you know, that's been something we've all had to deal with. We've had, you know, 
in a given class, people from all of, you know, all over the world. So, uh, but anyway, so we can definitely sort of work work around any of those issues. But anyway, thanks again for listening, and please have a look at the rest of the page and the and the syllabus if you want to kind of know what we're doing. Um, right now, um, we only have lessons lesson one open, and the reason we do that is that this is a paced course because of all the um, interactions and the requirements of the data assignments, um, it's, we're really trying to limit you to like not working more than a couple weeks ahead. And I know that doesn't always fit well with, with people's schedules and the like, but uh, uh, well, in a sense that that's how this course sort of has to work. So if that's an issue, we can talk about it. Cause I mean, um, there's, we have um, examples where uh, other students have been able to sort of manage this as well. So um, great. Well, thanks again. And uh, I'll talk to you soon, hopefully.